So with the gear train, there's a couple of different things I like to do for all my TH400s and 4L80Es. Um, with the TH400 in particular, uh, first off, you want to soak your planets in fresh transmission fluid before you put them in. It just gets them all nice and lubricated so that they're not dry upon first startup. Um, I mean, chances are they wouldn't be, but it's just a little bit of extra insurance. Uh, so here we have the uh, new Sprag, or excuse me, the new low roller clutch. I always replace these. I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, some builders don't for whatever reason. I mean, they're dirt cheap and it's good insurance. You don't want this breaking on you. So, you know, the old ones have God knows how many miles on them. It just makes sense to replace them. Uh, this one already has a new bushing installed. And then you'll also notice that, uh, sorry about that. You'll also notice that the pinions have been brazed. So again, for real high performance, this is good practice because it prevents them from popping out, um, you know, under extreme, extreme hard duty use. So the, um, Low planet, you'll notice that I've swapped out the little plastic four tab thrust washer that normally is there with the Babbitt thrust washer that normally goes here on the back of the output shaft, you know, on the flange there. And I've also added a hundred and fifteen thousand shim. So the reason why you want to do this, especially again for non-stock applications, is so that you can take up some of the swap that normally exists between the high planet and the low planet. And that will, you know, keep the mesh, you know, that much more uh, stabilized as the transmission is working. So um, most folks don't, you know, don't really... Um, pay too much attention to this. Uh, you know, when you're measuring end play, the uh, rear end play is paid attention to, and of course the front end play, but you don't see a lot of folks talking about the play between the planets and, you know, the sun gear and the sun gear shaft, etc. All right, so before we put the gear train into the case, I wanna double check the travel between the uh, rear planet and front planet. Now, this isn't super critical for, you know, factory type applications, you know, nothing, uh, you know, race or high performance oriented or anything that's going to see a real lot of heavy duty uh, working or towing hauling. But if one of those cases apply, then you want to make sure you clean up the slop that usually exists between the uh, front and rear planet. So we have everything set up in a vise. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take your, uh, your hands and you're going to hold down on the center support while you lift up on the uh, front planet. And you're going to basically determine by eye and by feel how far it's moving relative to, you know, the rear planet. Down, up. All right, so as you can see, we have very little travel, which is ideal. Um, you don't want it binding. There should be some movement, but there shouldn't be a lot of movement. If there's a lot of slop, then that just serves to put additional stress and wear and tear on the different gear components. So you want to avoid that, especially if you're doing high performance, high RPM racing, etc.